I grew up very different, very strange kind of because I did reasonably well in school, even in a, a, a primarily uh, African-American neighborhood, I did well academically. Um, and so my path was a little bit um, fast-tracked to the things. And um, I went to college and got scholarships and went to uh, technical schools. I went to um, a school, a RPI, Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute, and they got my degrees in physics. But I had spent my entire childhood drawing and coloring and making my own toys and doing things like that. So my parents actually thought that I was going to become some kind of architect or, or draftsman or something like that. That was the path. But I went into science. I went and decided I wanted to be uh, a scientist and got my degrees in physics. And I had a roommate uh, sophomore year, and my roommate was older than I was. Uh, he was uh, advanced, and so he was the editor for the literary magazine. And he started writing poetry. He wrote unbelievably good poetry for somebody who was at a technical school. And I hated poetry. I grew up on that, uh, you know, nothing can be better than a tree or whatever it was, those things. And I, I hated that stuff. But he was introducing me to the beat poets and the poets of contemporary poetry of that time. And I just fell in love with the way he was writing. And I went off and uh, one day he came home and he was, uh, uh, asked me what I was doing. I was cutting photographs out of magazines, Life Magazine, um, Saturday Evening Post magazines. And he asked me what I was doing and I said, well, I'm trying to write poetry. I'm trying to write things, but every time I write something, it evokes an image in my head. So I'm finding that I'm cutting pictures out of magazines that also evoke and I'm thinking I may take a photograph or write something about that photograph later. And he said, you're doing it all wrong. And uh, I said, what do you mean? He said, so he reached under his bed and pulled out a camera, an old uh, uh, 35 millimeter camera, ancient thing. And he showed me, and the only lesson I've ever had in photography. Now I was a physicist, so the so the science, the technology came easy. He told me about f-stops and shutter speeds and and that was the only lesson I've ever had in photography. But he put the camera in my hand and said, "Take your own pictures." And I guess to be a real cliché, the rest is history.